In this video, we're going to be upgrading a Radiant P1515 um, from a 4 gig drive to a 16 gig drive. First thing you're going to want to do is power down the terminal. So if you tilt back the screen, there's a power button located right here, red circle button. Just hit that once. The terminal will shut down Windows. So we'll wait till that powers down completely. Okay, once your machine's powered off, just got to make sure you unplug the actual power from the wall outlet. Tilt back the screen. And here you're going to see that there's two screws located up underneath the LCD. Some of the models have an extra screw over here on the MSR that you will have to take out in order to take off the screen. This particular model does not, so we just remove these two screws. Bring the terminal back up. In order to take off the top of the screen, you're going to push forward on the LCD, and the whole panel lifts up here. And inside, you're going to see that this is the 4 gig drive, and there's a little white peg that holds it together. You're going to have to take needle nose pliers and kind of squish together that white peg as it has little posts that come out to keep that on. Then you're just going to wiggle out the drive. Remove the 4 gig one. And you're going to have a 16 gig one here. Just take it out of its package. Now you're going to notice with the 16 gig drive, there's grooves here. You're going to need to make sure that when you're putting those in, they go up the top here, right up here in the slot. You're going to line it up. Just slightly push it in. Just make sure it's snug. I'm going to close the screen back, tilt the screen forward, put your two screws back in, I like to hold on to the front of the LCD just so you can line up your screw holes underneath. Bring this back, tilt back the screen, plug your wall outlet back in. Your terminal most likely is configured to start up when power is back on it. So once you plug in the power, the machines to start loading back up there. That's it.